Are you ready to see how to make this great card? And we'll do the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. Let's get started. I'm gonna be using brush strokes, which is a background stamp. Be interesting. Soft suede. I have a scrap, uh, well, it's not really a scrap, a piece of soft suede that is two and three fourths by two, a scrap of vanilla, my card base that's five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have two pieces of vanilla that is four by five and a fourth. And I have my envelope, and I'm going to use the tailored tag punch on this one to punch out a sentiment just because it's going to need something. And my then basic supplies. Also a scrap of um, scrap paper because I'm going to be trying something different. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll find out. I want to do diagonals whoops, on my card, and if you look at this, it goes straight up and down. So I am going to ink up my card, or my stamp, I'm having a heck of a time today, and I want this at a diagonal, if I do it this way, I have to stop and think. Hold on. So if I want it at a diagonal, I have to stamp it this way. I think I'm going to stamp it because then I can do it correctly. I was thinking I could do it the other way around, but I think I'm going to stamp it. And I'm going to do it so that I'm off the top and I go across the whole Um, card. Okay, see, so I've got a little bit there. Um, but see, that's at a diagonal, and it's okay if it's at different, um, the ink is, is not consistent. It comes and goes, so to speak, because it gives your card some interest. That's why I thought, oh, well, I'll try this. And I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. All right, now I need a pencil because I'm going to mark here. This is the back of it, and I can see through it, and I can see that that's where the line is. And I'm going to mark um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my soft suede marker and I'm going to use a ruler and I'm going to take this down all the way and I'm just going to fill it in. It's not going to be that noticeable because I've kind of feathered it. So if it bothers you, then just be aware of that when you um, when you do that. All right, So, but I needed to know where it was going to be. And it's right there, if you hold this right. All right, so I know that when I put this down on here, these two is where the um, where the last one ends. So I've got to move it down some and put it down. And now I'm going to use my paper. And let's see if this works. Woohoo! Look at that! I am excited. And you really don't see that. Um, to make sure I don't see it, what I will probably do is put it at the bottom because your eye doesn't usually look at the bottom. We'll see when I go to put it together. All right, the next thing I wanna do is 
I'm going to take um, this and I'm going to ink it up. I had another idea in mind. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. And this one I want them to go up and down. So I'm just going to lay this on here, put my paper on top, and press down. All right, that works. I think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna work, we'll see. All right, on here, I need to stamp a sentiment. And I just chose for you, and that this one comes from Birthday Blooms. It was just, I don't have many masculine sentiments. You could do hello, but I just thought for you would be perfect. And I'm gonna stamp this right in the middle. Oh, it's crooked. All right, I hope I can get that out of the... All right, I need a post-it note. When you, since I'm using a scrap and it's not big enough for me to really hold on to, if you take a post-it note, you can hold it and use your post-it note to get it in there and centered and then punch so that you have a way to hold it. All right, this I'm going to put on here, and I'm going to use some dimensionals. I think I have a piece here, yeah. I want to use these up first. I'm just going to go straight down the middle with these. And let me take my backs off. Okay, and then this is going to go on here. like so, and I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this because it's gonna go on my card. I'm gonna put one in the center for, just because. Okay, let's get our card together. Using my glue because it gives me a little wiggle room. I'm going to put that down like so. Oops, it slipped on me. I didn't have it held. I usually hold it really tight with this hand and I didn't. All right, now I'm going to take the backs off of this. This is going to go in the center like so. And there we have it. Okay, let's find out what we're going to do next. Don't have too many left in here. Ooh, work of art. And now what color, what color? And Tranquil Tide. Ooh, work of art and Tranquil Tide. I hope I've inspired you today. Join me next week as I do work of art and Tranquil Tide. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my fun videos. You never know what I'm gonna come up with. Have a great day.